What's up guys, VST here, but as we say, let me show you something which I believe is rather interesting and you can still see it on the screen. All right, so one more time. What is strange here, guys? Well, I have my Galaxy S23 Ultra. I have this very beautiful landscape. And of course, I have the clock widget, but can you see that somehow the clock is behind the rocks? I believe you can. Yeah, in this video, you're gonna learn how to create this iOS 16 style of wallpapers for your lock screen or lock screens, right? With the so-called depth effect. If you're here for the first time, you might want to check my other videos. I'm currently also testing the Xiaomi Turing Ultra. I tested the Oppo Find X6 Pro and of course, the main star of the show, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Take a look at this beauty, guys. This is really, really very beautiful. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this look for yourself. But first things first, guys, time for some credits. Now, I stumbled upon a Reddit post, right? But the Redditor quoted that he first saw it here. Yeah, this is Navi Wallpapers. I'm going to link down below his video, guys. So this is the original video. These guys invented this, right? Invented this. 11 months ago, so he deserves proper credit. But then how I got to this is actually via this Reddit poll. So there is this other person created to this guy as well called Master of Science. And in his Reddit post, he also described a step-by-step -step method to get this on the phone. So basically guys, you're gonna need two of the good luck modules. One is going to be the so-called lock star, which is used to set up your lock screen. And the other one is gonna be the clock face. And of course, there is some thinking involved, cutting out some elements. It's not so straightforward, so I have to warn you guys, if you want to get this look <laughs> straight out of the box, well, then the best next thing for you is to just get yeah, this one here, right, which is an iPhone. But if you want to achieve this with your own stock Samsung tools, then that's the best way to do. Also worth mentioning, this guy here, Vetrox360, so he created a rather extensive Twitter thread with some instructions on how you can do this. Like this guy's a designer, so he knows things in and out. So I'm gonna be putting also this link down below. Those are probably one of the best instructions that you can get. Now I'm gonna show you in the video how I did it. And my work of course is not so perfect. I'm not a designer, right? But at least I can show you how I did it. So first things first, we need a wallpaper. So this here is my choice. And if you're okay, I will also link this down below in the video description so you can download it and then we need to edit this to kind of achieve the same look. So second thing is guys, we need to start good luck. I am already inside the good luck guys. And like I said in the beginning, we are gonna use clock face to create this lock face and then lock start to further adjust this. And of course there's gonna be some other tools involved, mainly, yeah, some standard stock tools. If you run a modern Galaxy phone, doing all the cutouts, etc. but we'll come there very soon. Now guys, open lock face. It is gonna ask you what you want to edit. I'm choosing here the lock screen, all right? So once you start clock face, guys, you will be able to create your own clock face. Now pay attention to the elements here, guys, because this is really how the trick is done, all right? I will show you now. I have selected here 12, which means this is my digital clock, right? And you might wonder like, how the hell am I able to put it behind the rock? And that's actually very easy, guys, because the second element is just me inserting this part of the picture that I want to somehow seemingly integrate and create this depth effect. And okay, I think that is rather fake. So let's say if I'm to delete these guys, I'm just going to have a standard um, wallpaper with a standard clock there. And I can also delete the clock. Now, the thing is, like, how do we get this picture? All right, guys, and this is how I told you. There's gonna be some other tools involved. Now, back to the first point, which was the picture. So here we are, guys, back to step number one. I am in my gallery where I have the stock wallpaper. And you know Samsung tools, right? They're quite powerful. So I'm just clicking here, guys, and you'll notice that the tool already will start to analyze the picture and it will just give you the option to cut it out everything. So now I can just save this as an image. And when I go back, guys, you're gonna see I have now a recent image, but this image is really way too big. So I don't want to get that image. So what I'm doing, guys, I mean, it's very lame, I know, but I go inside and I just decide to cut out something that I can apparently reuse. And this is actually this part. So now I'm saving this, right? This is actually cut out from the original wallpaper. 
Now I'm gonna go back to clock face guys and you can just see it. Now let me just try to create a very very brand new wallpaper for you. So I'm clicking here, all right. This is the standard option. I don't like this clock. So what I'm gonna do right now guys, I'm just gonna go for a digital clock. And you know how it goes. You can also uh, later manipulate not only the hours but also the semicolon to everything. So let's say I wanna go here in the minutes and I want the minutes to be like this. Now how do I get this part on top of the text? Well, very easy. I need to click on the plus button guys. You have the option to load an image. Click on the gallery guys and I think you already know where this is going. I'm gonna go here in the recents and I'm gonna put this cut out. Alright, so now guys, you know, with my fingers, I'm able to resize it. Right now probably it's not gonna be perfect guys and it really depends on the type of the background that you're choosing, alright? But, I mean, you have to select a picture that will look a bit more natural. So let's say that this is it guys, alright? I will probably also try to add a date element and I add, let's say, the date element here. Then I press here save guys and now I have this new lock screen. So let me just try to apply it. I'm gonna apply it and then the surprise guys. And now I'm gonna show you and it's gonna look like shit. I mean, no doubt. It really looks bad because the picture is very small and I mean, even if you're blind, you are going to be disgusted by what you see. And in the final step, guys, I need to turn myself back to good luck. Why? You're gonna see. So from good luck, this time I'm choosing Lockstar, which is used to create new lock screen and always on display. This is already pre-enabled. And this time, guys, I'm gonna click to edit it. Now, I see that this element is not looking quite nice. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna select it, right? But from here, I can only move it around, right? So. Even if I move it around, guys, it's uh, the scale is not perfect. So I'm going to click here, guys, and I'm going to make the scale bigger, right? And making it bigger, guys, will actually help me to align it. Now, in this case, it's not going to be perfect. Again, I'm just doing this for the sake of the video, guys, but it will not be that bad. So when I save it right now, all right, and I go back to my lock screen, boom, it's already looking better. And this is kind of the concept, guys. So let's say if you want to manipulate this one more time, you can go back to the clock face, all right? And choosing again here, lock screen, and you can adjust the position of the clock, guys, to just really fine tune the level of the depth, to say, that you have. So every time you manipulate it with clock face, guys, you eventually need to go back to lock star and try to even it out. So again, I'm here, right? I'm going to select this module. I'm going to now Try to zoom it up a bit. It's already very much zoomed, but I can adjust the position. And sometimes, guys, you know, I can probably even do something like this. Now, in the original picture, we don't have clicks here, but I can put the cliffs there. And somehow, this might look natural. Now, in that case, this is not exactly the idea. But if I put it like this, guys, it's going to pretty much look nice. So one more time, boom, we have this very nice depth effect, guys. And I know it's not iOS, but that's probably the best that you can get in like five to 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to check the original sources for this, right? There are people we need to pay respect and give proper credits. Thank you so much, VST over and bye.